this is Victory here. Today um, in the customer workshop is at our uh, domestic customer workshop, which they are producing the, the vertical rolling up door. And then now uh, they have purchased the, the discontinuous line from us. And hereby I came here to take the video to show you how the discontinuous line working in their workshop. Uh, let's see from here, this is the color and uncolor, and here is the embossing unit. Feeding table, and here is the embossing roller. And from here, the coil will be cut, cut into lengths, and the surface will be embossed. So we can see from the decoder, embossing and the cut to lens. The sheet later will be transferred to this uh, hot press. Uh, but actually this step you can, uh, it's under optional. Once you want to make the cube on the panel, we need this press. Otherwise we will uh, shift the sheet. Already the, we already cut to lens, the sheet will be shifted to the to the reforming machine directly. So this uh, hot press is um, optional. If you wanna do the cube panel, you make the press on the, on the sheet. Otherwise, you can uh, shift the sheet directly to the reforming machine. Uh, after the after the sheet cut to lens, after the coil cut to lens, it become the long sheet, and then we will put the sheet material into the hot press. Actually, on this hot press machine, we will make the make the cube or any pattern that the customer need. But currently, uh, for our customer. For this producer, they don't need the cube, but they use the leveling pot. So they put the sheet, they insert the sheet into this leveling unit. And then come to... After here, we will run on the reforming machine. The sheet will more flat, straight news. It will help for the reforming machine. After leveling, the sheet will more straight. 
and then we can use the press machine for cube. Uh, now we are going to make the uh, panel from the reforming machine, and the sheet already being embossed. And here is the forming machine. The feeding material is sheet. And we can see the age. I think the front part will be better. On this reforming machine, we will make the reinforcement and also the, the two ending part. This is the finished product. The embossing will be done by this machine. Here actually is the beginning of the line. The coil material, the raw coil material will be uh, put, in, put it into this embossing machine. And here we will cut to lengths. Suppose we need a six meter, four meter, three meter of the length of the, the, the panel, the door panel. It will cut it into lengths. Then the sheet will be transferred into this press machine. If you want to make some cube, there you want to make a press cube uh, if you don't need okay we can skip this process here is what we for embossing machine and the cut to lens and this panel will go to insert into this reforming machine for the front panel this is the generally uh, process this is the A panel and this is B panel. We call it like a, a front panel and the back panel. So we need the two reforming machine. One is for this uh, panel and here it's for that, that A panel, two reforming machine. And of course the weights can be adjusted. They are producing the industrial rolling up door, faster rolling up door. Uh, they use the our machines, and uh, here is our domestic customer workshop. Uh, here's the foaming platform, the ones with foaming machine, and we can have a look about the final product. This is the industrial PO foam rolling up door. This is the product, and we can see the application is this one. Exactly for this kind of door. 
this is the application. And here we go. I just want to show you about the how we produce the produce the, the rolling shuttle. Of course, this product is not good because it's under testing yet. And this is qualified qualified the door. Now we're checking how they produce the use the platform to produce the pure foam. If you have uh, followed up our YouTube channel, you will see we have the discontinuous line, which means a single line, single machine line. And also we have the fully automatically line. Uh, today, uh, we can see how we use the discontinuous line to produce the rolling up shed, uh, rolling up door, door panel. Here is the platform for foaming. This is after heating. One product finished. The worker will, will carry the panel which finished by that reforming machine. They will carry the panel onto this platform. One is for bottom panel, one is for front panel. They fix the panel into the slot and fix it, fix the panel position on the press machine on the platform. And then we carry another panel, which is front panel. This is front panel, also produced by that reforming machine. And here, there is the most magic time for foaming. Later, I will explain to you why I call it like magic. Although the mixing, the polyester and the ISO is by uh, machine, but for the foaming, it's totally made by manual. You have to speed up, otherwise the foaming will be done. You can check that place. This is a completed process, how we use the foaming platform. And we have two platforms. One is over there, and there is, uh, there is two platforms. It means one is on the, on the heating and the press, one that could be released. And we will clean the this foaming part. Here is the finished product. How we uh, judge or how we do the do the how we call it like the panel is qualified. We can check the surface. Is it flat or maybe something up, something down? But after we after after I checked the, the panel, I was happy that uh, the panel was good. It's very flat. It's flat. This is the uh, foaming machine, and uh, here we go. We will load the we will load again and again. 
I do believe that you will have some questions by this kind of the way, what's the capacity or what's the productivity by each day. I also have the same questions. So here's my knowledge to share with you. Uh, the, the worker told me it's about uh, 10 minutes we can have two panels by this platform. So which means one platform to produce one panel, it needs almost five minutes. And then my overseas customer has asked for has asked for multiple layer of the foaming machine. Uh, depends on what my boss suggestion. Maybe it's not a good idea, but there there is a lot of double layer hot press machine available from the overseas market. So I do believe there is some way to find out if it's good to apply for multiple layer. The black man somehow is the shareholder of the company. This company. He told me maybe it's not the most most. Uh, uh, advanced way or we call it high technology high technology way but this way he told me the door can be well produced so we do we do believe our machine working good for them with economic cost Everyone, uh, this is another kind of the door which we call like a sliding door and uh, we can see it's very high thickness for me uh, it's about Eight zero. Uh, foaming thickness, eighteen millimeter, and here is somehow the joint. It's not perfect yet. Joint. Male and the female joint, and the surface is with this kind of embossing, corrugated. The foaming machine is here. Here is the foaming machine. A feeding table size, and then we come to this corrugated roller, and here is the foaming machine. The weights can be a slide on the rail. This is the foaming machine. This video is taken in our uh, domestic customer workshop, and uh, I can show you about the. Here is the panel, and here is the application. This is the sliding door. Up rail, and this is the door panel. The surface. It's kind of corrugated. This is after installation. This is the application. <laughs>